Hi everyone, today I'm going to be responding to a video Is the term bisexual transphobic by a YouTuber called Marina Shut Up Marina is part of the crew of YouTubers like Riley J. Dennis and Seedlin who I've responded to in videos before who perpetuate the neoliberal propaganda of a for-profit organisation called Everyday Feminism As goes for the other video responses When I criticise what she's saying, I'm criticising Everyday Feminism and the neoliberal narrative that they represent. Just before I start I have cut certain bits out because she is going on a little bit about herself and I don't really care. I'm going to try and focus on the uh, generalizations that she's making and the assumptions behind them. So without further ado. I feel like there are several really important points that are often misunderstood about bisexuality. Number one being that bisexual means two. No, bi as a prefix to a word like sexual means two. So you're only a Attracted to two genders. No, because the term sexual relates to sex or sexual reproduction. But there are two alternative definitions for bisexuality that have come into popularity more recently that I actually prefer. What do you mean alternative definitions? The definition you've just given isn't the correct definition. The attributes of sexual orientation, bisexual, homosexual and heterosexual, relate to sexual reproduction and sex, not gender. So the first one is that bisexuality means attraction to two or more genders. And the second one is that bisexual means attraction to same and different genders. I don't know how you can call yourself a feminist when you don't understand the difference between sex and gender. Even Berin knows this and he's one of YouTube's biggest anti-feminists. And also, as I said, bi as a prefix doesn't suggest two or more, it suggests two. There's probably nuanced differences between those two definitions. I mean, there's probably loads of nuances to the three inaccurate definitions of bisexuality that you have presented us with. But I think they're pretty similar and that's usually how I describe my own sexual orientation. So for me, my bisexuality- Look mate, the only word that belongs to you is your name. It means that I'm attracted to people of the same gender, I'm a woman, so women. Yeah, but you've redefined woman to mean something that it isn't as well, so nobody knows what the hell you're talking about. And people of other genders. What do you mean people of other genders? Men, or non-binary people, or gender fluid people, etc, etc. Etc, etc. Nobody who's not part of your little mad liberal American circle has a clue what you're talking about. People have real problems, don't care about this stuff. Number two misconception that I get about that is that if you use that definition of bisexual then you're actually using it incorrectly and you should really label yourself as pansexual. You intersectionalists act like you're inclusive but what you're doing is so elitist because the only people that can participate in your delusion are rather rich privileged western neoliberals. And to that I say don't tell me what to do. Good for you, Marina. If only you could tell everyday feminism to stop telling you what to do. I think it's really important to honor the terms that people feel like fits them best. The purpose of language is to communicate with other human beings, but that's why we define words collectively, not as individuals. And if they say I'm bisexual or if they say I'm pansexual, then probably good to respect that. If somebody says they're bisexual, I'm just going to assume they're interested in sexual relations with members of either sex. Also because people use different definitions for pansexuality and bisexuality, it can be hard to make like hard and fast distinctions between the two. It's hard to be able to understand what the hell they're talking about. I know that some people identify with pansexuality more because for them gender doesn't play into their experience of attraction. They like people regardless of gender. So they are bisexual, really. And then I know bisexual people who use the term bisexual to mean that they're attracted to different genders, but gender does affect their attraction. How many times has Marina said the word gender now? Um, I've lost count. Yeah. You have talked about sexuality without once referring to sex. But again, no hard and fast rules. So this is a part where she goes on and on about herself so that nobody thinks she's making a generalisation because heaven forfend a woman who's supposed to be a feminist should express an opinion. You notice that Riley J. Dennis, whose boss is also everyday feminism, doesn't seem to feel the need to apologise for claiming to be a lesbian, even though he's a bloke. 
Number three misconception is that the term bisexual is transphobic because you're excluding non-binary or gender non-conforming trans people from your dating pool. According to trans activists, anything that refers to sex or sexual reproduction is transphobic. The term homosexual, bisexual and heterosexual are all transphobic. And I think based on what we just discussed, that's not necessarily true. No, I'm sorry. The term transphobic doesn't have any credibility at all. Because I'm bisexual and I'm attracted to people who don't identify as binary men or women. People don't identify as male or female. They are male or female. The thing that decides that is their reproductive sex and that's what sexual orientation is based on. I'm sure that transphobic bisexual people exist. Actually, definitely transphobic bisexual people exist. But So now, Marina, you're legitimizing the idea that by being sexually exclusionary, you are transphobic. I think it also comes from a misunderstanding of how people define bisexuality. No, I think it sounds like you don't understand sexual consent. It's just amazing these people have the bare-faced goal to call themselves feminists when they're advocating such rapey ideas. Really quite staggering. Doesn't just mean that you're only attracted to cis men and cis women. I've dealt with this argument already. I just go and see my responses to Riley J. Dennis. I, I can't be bothered to go through this again. Being bisexual just means that you are attracted to at least two genders, but it could be more than two. No, it doesn't, mate. That's not what it means. It means that you're attracted to members of the same sex and members of the opposite sex. How they express their gender or how they feel in their heads, that's just a case of preference. You're conflating sexual orientation and preference. And those two genders don't even necessarily need to be like men and women. Man and woman aren't genders. You could be a woman attracted to women and like a gender people. She's just going on now. I mean, the way that she's talking, anyone think that women were just wearing frocks and pink all the time? It's so sexist. You know, it doesn't even necessarily mean that you're only attracted to boys and girls. I hope that an adult wouldn't at all be attracted to boys and girls. What does it mean to feel like an attachment to a certain word? Why does it matter? But I think words do matter. Marina, if you think words matter, why are you trying to participate in a movement that seeks to destroy the English language? Nobody outside this bubble that you're living in has a clue what you're talking about. It's terrifying. Your type of thinking is being written into legislation and policy all over the Western world. I think it's really important to let people define themselves with the words of their choosing. They can use whatever name they want to define themselves if they go through the correct procedure to change their birth name but if they want to redefine a word so that it means something other than what everybody else understands it to mean then all they're doing is making it impossible for other people to communicate with them and they're making it impossible for themselves to be able to communicate with others as well it's not a constructive or useful approach to human interaction that you're advocating here. Because it can be a form of empowerment. Who is empowered? And if it makes them feel good, then it's good to respect that. So let's take the piss out of the uh, neoliberal SJW types in the comments for a bit of light relief. Obviously, we've got Riley J. Dennis. He said, this is a wonderful explanation. We've got Milo Stewart saying, I feel like saying bisexual is transphobic gives a false sense of security towards the label pansexual. It should mean a false sense of security. There are definitely people who use the label pansexual to signify that they don't see themselves as transphobic and would date trans people. But I think that can also give a false sense of having deconstructed transphobia when not all people who are pan have completely deconstructed their transphobia. Neither label gives me more security in the holder's transphobia or lack thereof more than the other. Well, that told us. Top comment is from Social Justice Warrior in Skeptic's Clothing. Shoe on head. Uh, she's written, I think bi and pan are interchangeable terms. I just use bi since I see trans people as the gender they present as anyway. Do you fuck? And the other genders still appear as either male or female. Well, male and female aren't genders, even if they look androgynous. I don't think someone can look grey gender, etc. What? <laughs> what? 